You know, guys, uh, your word, your word, the promises you make, they're a funny thing, aren't they? Uh, because it was just in the last Battlefront video when I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take a little break from this franchise. Um, and then in a Star Wars Bounty Hunter video I made, which now has been pushed back to Wednesday, I said the same thing. I think I'm gonna take a break from playing Battlefront for a while. Uh, yet here we are. Why is that? Well, the answer is simple. Out of freaking nowhere, Aspire just decided to drop the game we've been asking for for the better half of a decade now. So, uh, yeah. You guys want more Battlefront? I'll give you more Battlefront. Let, let's play through the game now instead of later. Alright, we, we did our time. We did our time in the Clone Wars. We've, we've done everything we needed to in the Clone Wars and the prequels. It's time to go to the OG Trilogy. We're dropping into the Galactic Civil War. Ooh, baby, I think I hear Imperial Dixie playing. Man, Tatooine the Dune Sea. It is a travesty this map did not come back for Star Wars Battlefront 2. But we got it now, so let's play it. Or let's read the opening title crawl. You know, I'm curious, whenever the Classic Collection comes out, is this still gonna be in a 4x3 aspect ratio, or are we gonna get widescreen on this bit crunch cutscene? Alright, cue the awesome loading screen. Oh, baby, that's just downright therapeutic. Oh boy, here I go conquering again as the Imperialists! Oh, oh, yeah, this, this, this is the game right here, baby. You know, it's a shame, really. I was born too late to deploy in the Middle East. I was born too early to deploy in the Middle East. But I was born just in time to deploy in the Middle East. I genuinely do not know why, but for some reason the term Chicken Walker Texas Ranger just popped into my head. Oh, look, it's a homestead! Knock, knock. I'm an Imperial soldier and I'm here to enforce the Quartering Act. All right, just just gotta pray no one comes down here. There's a whole lot of fighting going on in rural Texas out there, but no one's coming into the buildings. Oh no, here he is! Here he is! Yeah, yeah, this is my home now. Take it! Oh, frick! Car, car, car! Acorn dropped! Acorn dropped! Also, you just saw it, but I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way now. Look at my guy. Look on the screen. Look how I'm moving to the left. Look, I I know how to roll. I know how to roll now. I didn't use it in the past few videos, but all of you freaking lemmings just kept commenting, Oh, this is how you roll! See you, Dad! You're a freaking moron for not knowing how to roll! I'm aware I'm a moron. I'm quite aware of that fact. Why are so many of you guys in here? So yes, we, we, we don't need to keep leaving comments about telling me how to roll. Can we can we stop that now? Gosh, it's like the freaking Tank Dempsey comments back on the, 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 the Battlefront Iceberg video. I don't know what a Tank Dempsey is, okay? I never played Call of Duty Zombies, okay? For me, Steve Bloom is from Cowboy Bebop, okay? In my mind, Steve Bloom will always be Spike Spiegel. And Wolverine. And also the Green Goblin from Spectacular Spider- Wow, wow, Steve Bloom is in a lot of stuff. Leave a comment with your favorite Steve Bloom character. If you say Tank Dempsey, I'm banning you. Oh ho ho, oh boy. It's the sand people, right in the middle of a desert war zone. There's a, there's a lot of jokes I could make, but frankly, I'm not brave enough today to make them. Although, fun fact, they don't like to be called, uh, sand people. In fact, they don't even like to be called Tusken Raiders. They actually prefer the term Tatooine American. Ah, and there's the fourth thing that George Lucas ripped off from Dune to make Star Wars. The Sarlacc Pit is like a really cool obstacle here, I'm not gonna lie. Although, I, I've always wanted to mod this game to give the Stormtroopers a Japanese schoolgirl costume just so this is funnier. You have to live with that image in your head now. Enjoy it. Oh ho ho! Oh ho, here we go! This is how we're ending it off. Alright, man, you know the drill. If they're running, they're a rebel. If they're standing still, they're a very patient rebel. How high can I land with this thing? Can, can we land on a giant pillar before the game ends? Probably not. Nah, eh, it doesn't matter. We got a victory, that's all that really matters. Urban warfare, urban warfare, urban warfare! You know, hard mode wasn't really that bad on that last map. I... Oh, Vader's here, sweet, yeah. Anyways, hard mode was not that bad on that last mission, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if it's just because, you know, it's the first mission and it's like intentionally easier or what. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I still don't know if I'm gonna do hard mode all the way through. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
Yes, yes, recklessly throw grenades at all these houses. Oh man, I love quote, I love urban combat. I love close quarters encounters that involve a lot of civilian casualties. It, it's fantastic, let me tell you. Recklessly throwing plastic explosives around. It's just, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. You get to be a domestic terrorist, but it's like sanctioned by the government. Oh, okay, I see what he's saying now. Okay, so, I don't worry, dude, I remembered you. Um, a few videos ago, a guy left a comment about hard mode in this game, saying that apparently in hard mode, uh, the enemy doesn't show up on your map. Uh, I guess unless they're shooting, because, yeah, whenever they're shooting, and then they'll fade out. So, um, thank you, I think, Jared Fester, or something along those lines who left that comment. There's your shout-out. There he is! There's Vader! Okay, guys, you get to actually see a hero in action, because I, I don't... Have we? I don't think we ran into Mace Windu or Count Dooku whenever they were here earlier. Vader, can you not? Can you? Could you not kill someone? Uh, okay, okay. Ne never mind. Kill as many people in the alleyway as you want. It's British Lord Vader. He's gonna stab you in an alleyway, mate. You got a license for killing Imperials. You know, I might have just captured the Cantina, but how do you like this shot? Ooh, it's a shotgun. Aha! I, I can only come up with so many more alcohol-based um, guns. I, I, Okay, you yeah, know the puns are bad. Yeah, no, look at that map. We've only got two more command posts to capture. We might could actually win this by capturing all the command posts on the map before wiping them all out. I don't know. I might have just jinxed it by saying that, but you know what? We're going to give it a try. Just going to come right around here. Oh, oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of low poly rebels back there. I think I'll just um yeah, I'm going to just stand here for a second while I try to figure out my attack strategy. The attack strategy is rain from oh 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 they're they're all in that corner <laughs> you buffoons you uh, how did you survive doesn't matter doesn't matter shotgun and and I got I got shotgun too look don't get me wrong like I, I know the reason so many of you guys watched the last Battlefront video is just the algorithm again it's the algorithm put it in your path because. I, I do bat. I did a Battlefront video, the Battlefront series, uh, Classic Collection was just announced, but, uh, still, that was really cool seeing how many of you guys watched that video, and then, like, how many of you guys were commenting on it. Um, that was really, I don't know, that was just really cool. I haven't had one of these normal videos get that popular in a while. So, uh, thank you. I hope, I hope you keep enjoying this, this buffoonery you're watching. Could, could you, could you please get out of here, Mr. Jawa Man? Okay, yeah, no, we, we've only got the one command post left. We might could do this. That would be crazy if we could do this. We've lost a command post. And we immediately lost that command post. I, we're just going to turn right back around. Enemy forces have captured a command post. Yet I am aware of that. We're going to go fix that problem right now. Well, well, well. You're not going to get away from... How did you turn into a Wookiee? That was a normal soldier that went in there. Why is there a... Oh, there he is. Never mind. Oh hey 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 what's up guys yeah um that was that that was actually kind of terrifying turning around and seeing two dudes with RPGs just looking at you like what you doing in this neighborhood cuz huh. check out this crash spaceship I bet a woman was driving it oh Vader are we gonna be pirates together I like to be a pirate a pirate's life for me most underrated George Harrelson song right there. Vader, could you Okay, fine, you go you go up the ramp first. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree. Yeah, we're captain of the ship. It's Captain Black Cape and his um gang of uh, Man, it is way harder than I thought to come up with like a, uh, a a name for a pirate crew. Oh, I've got one the melee modding scene. Okay, last rebel. Oh, it's a woman. I bet you're the one who drove that spaceship that crashed. And the, the, man, the, the, the sexism was so bad it didn't even let me kill her. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. To be fair, I can't compete with Darth Vader whenever it comes to public enemy. I'll get it next time, though. And poor Doran Croton being bantha fodder. Oh, holy man, how bad you gotta suck for that. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new item, concept art. Yeah, I haven't really been looking at these while we've been unlocking them. But we'll look at the Tatooine one real quick. Oh. Hey there, it's a Tatooine American, look at that. I can't- is this concept art for the movie or concept art for the game? I think the movie. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't think they were drawing this up for the- Yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's- that's Ralph McQuarrie right there. That's definitely not for the game. Okay, you know what? I think we got time. We could probably do one more level. Let's see what it is real quick. I'm just gonna take a quick look and- We already did Tatooine and next we got- 
Oh lord, no. Uh, yeah, hard mode and Renvarn have not historically worked out super well for me. Um, but who knows? It's, it's, it's been surprisingly easier as the Empire. Probably because Droidicas aren't in the mix this time, but hey, well, let's just keep going and see what happens. I'm just gonna double check. I, I'm sorry, I need to double check because, okay, yeah, no, we're still on hard mode. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it has been significantly easier. Again, it's the first two levels of this second campaign. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe I'm about to embarrass myself yet again. Gosh, I hope I'm not here for another hour recording this, but... Yeah, I, maybe the Clone Wars era is just so unbalanced because of the Droidicas or something. Because it has not been bad with the Empire so far. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, there is something really cool about watching all these guys in matching uniforms, like, just march around and... Oh my god, is this, the, is this what military propaganda is? I told them, I told them not to attack Russia in the winter. This is exactly what happened to Napoleon, this is exactly what happened to the clone troopers. Enemy forces have captured a command post. Enemy forces have captured a command post. We're losing reinforcements. We've okay. Okay, yeah, no, all those audio cues I keep hearing, I do not like, because I just heard we lost a command post at least seven times. Where, where is he? Where, where, where's the guy? I don't see, oh, there's the guy. You, dude, you think you can just hide behind here? No, we're gonna keep this, uh, this tomb that's been grave robbed. Oh, man, Indiana Jones has already been here. It belongs in a museum. Kill rebels. Behead rebels. Roundhouse kick a rebel into the abyss. Donkey kick a rebel in the back of the head. Throw a grenade at a rebel. Shoot shoot a rebel in the crotch with your gun. Man, I hate rebels. Ulysses S. Grant, 1865. All right, let's try the pilot with a grenade. Oh, wow. You know, this this grenade launcher, uh, I can work with this. I can work with this, I think. I'll see her right down there, right down there. I'm gonna see if I can if I can hit her with, okay, or you can hit her with the turret. No, why, why would I want a cool grenade trick shot? I mean, come on, guys, really. Yeah, this thing is great. Why have I not, not used this as much as I have, like, I, I never have really taken the time to use the grenade launcher in this game. This is actually really cool. Okay, charge it up. Throw it down there. Oh, oh, yeah, that, okay, I thought it killed two of them. Doesn't matter. Okay, that should have killed both of them. Both that grenade was down there. I hate this game now. Ha! Ha ha! I just pulled off a super easy maneuver. I, I love this game now. Okay, I do have to question why, like, in all honesty, half my humor is just me having BPD every time I play this game. It's like something, like, the most minor inconvenience happens. I hate this game. Like, the most simple good thing happens. Oh, this is the greatest game of all time. And for some reason, that's funny. I don't know why. At least to me, humor is subjective. Well, it's not subjective whenever I tell the jokes. Then it's objectively funny. Ooh, sniper duel, sniper duel, sniper... Okay, I forget I only got one zoom in. Right... Oh, yeah, right in the boob. Hey, take that. That's the closest a Star Wars Battlefront player will ever get to touching breasts. Oh, it's the abominable snowman. He's nothing compared to my <laughs> my Carcano rifle can take him out no problem. Ah, uh, but I can't, I can't I can't beat the white man with the um, the white man with the M16 is 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 pretty hard to defeat if we're being honest. The the those innocent Vietnamese families learned that the hard way. You know what? I want this building. I okay. That was. I don't know if I expected more fall damage or less fall damage. It doesn't matter. I want this building. It's a single rebel up there. We're just gonna activate him. Do this. Oh, oh, if I could... Oh, yes, yes. Artillery, rain, fire from above. Okay, real talk. I didn't want the command post so much as I wanted the tower. Because the CIA gave me the sniper rifle and told me my waifu would be real if I used it to start uh, shooting innocents. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right there, right there. Ah, yeah. Oh, man, you gotta love election years. This is actually a really, really good spot. Oh, they just moved out the window. They're smart. Oh, no, they moved to the other window. They're an idiot. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, look over there. Through that window. There's nothing, right? But I, I zoom in, all of a sudden there's this whole other building. That is, that is trippy. Man, render distance goes crazy in this game. And, and I, I died. All these units, all these guys dressed in all white that perfectly blend in. I'm gonna play as the one black guy. I guess he's more of like a gunmetal gray or like a blue. I, I, I don't care. He's got a shotgun that seems to be working wonders right now. 
And he's got a shotgun that seems to be stopping my fun with a shotgun. <laughs> okay, that's how it is. Oh my gosh, look look at that line of, of, of red. Okay, uh, qu for the guy who left the comment about the, um, the whole it, enemies can't see you, or you can't see enemies on the map in hard mode. Does that just go away, like, whenever there's only X amount of troops left? Because I noticed it didn't happen until, like, right now when there's only 12 rebel units left, but, like, I can I can see them all on the map. Is that how it works, or, or what? I'm just curious. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Daniel Myron Lefevre? Because he sure has time to talk to you. One guy left, one dude left, put him down with a shotgun like the animals they are. That's a hard image with the blue fire right there. And I still didn't get Public Enemy. Curse you, Aaron Gunnar. I got Deadeye, though. That's pretty cool. You're sure the homing beacon is secure aboard their ship? I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. You know, there really is nothing like 180p movie footage put into an early 2000s video game. Okay, I think that's going to do it for today. We'll, we, we, we tackled three levels. We'll come back to Yavin 4. I, man, I hope hard mode keeps being this, um, not, not easy, it's not easy, but it's much more manageable, it feels fair. This is what a hard mode should be, not whatever was happening with those droidicas last time. So we're just gonna keep playing this, I'm gonna try to release it more regularly, like, probably every Sunday from here on out is gonna be Star Wars Battlefront, at least for the foreseeable future. And when the Classic Collection comes out, I'll probably make some separate videos just on that game. I think we're going to keep playing this series with the, um, you know, the original Xbox version. Well, the Xbox version played backwards compatible on an Xbox Series X. But we're just going to keep playing the classic version. We're not going to switch over whenever the new game comes out, because I'll, I'll make its own videos on that. Anyways, hope you guys liked this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.